Okay, so I decided to make a video on how gourmet this stove is. I'm going to show you guys how to clean. I'm using here again Comet. I put water on top of the stove um, just so that way I can make sure that it's clean. I am also using this Arm & Hammer baking soda. Um, I'm just going to mix it up. I'm trying to get all the crumbs out of the stove. Here's a sponge. And you guys just scrub, scrub, scrub. more water in here Scrub and let it soak for a little while. It's coming up. It and, like it's coming up. Yeah, it's coming out. But you guys have to try to clean it because you don't want to be cooking on a stove top that is grummy like this. And the stove top was not grummy like this before. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a health hazard if you keep it like this. And with the pandemic going on, I don't want you guys to get sick. So, learn. Hopefully this video help keep things clean for everyone in the household. Um, don't take offensive of this video. I don't mean to be offensive or anything to anyone. I'm just trying to keep a healthy household. So with that being said, the ingredients to cleaning this stove is not, is underneath the kitchen sink. So just slightly scrub, 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 and it's coming out. All you need is baking soda, comment, and it's gonna come right, right up, okay? So you don't have to worry about having a crummy, nasty stove to cook your food on. All right, so this this worked great too. You just take this and you scrub really hard. And as you guys can see, Crumb is coming right off. Yeah. I mean, see, look how nice it is. Just scrub it. See? This is, this is how it should be. This is what cleaning is takes time but if you live a clean life and keep things clean then you don't have to clean oh, yeah. all the time you know you do this all the time me cleaning stove no i mean cleaning uh, oh no not this particular house um not this particular house um but i do clean I try to keep clean because you don't want to get sick, you know? You don't want to live in a crummy house and get sick. And we're not living in a thir third world country. We have all the cleaning products out there to help us clean. So it just takes time. And time is very valuable. Okay. 
here we are. Do you clean too, Kathy? Mm -hmm. Do you clean too? Yeah, I do it at home. You do it at home? I used to work at a part of Berkeley Lab. Wow. I used to work there. You used to a long time. What do you used to do, Kathy? I have a whole filthy jam clean. Oh. <laughs> you know, not to clean, yeah. Empty the baskets, uh, mop the floors, clean the bathrooms. Wow. You have a whole filthy that was, you know, burnt. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Okay, so here's an update of my dirty uh, stove. I spend about half an hour scrubbing the stove, and this is how it looks now. It's a lot cleaner than it was before. So I hope you guys could keep it clean. Um, that way I don't have to come back and try to clean the stove. I also um, post a lot of stuff up. I don't take offensive to it. Basically, I'm just trying to say, clean after yourself so that way you can keep the house clean for everybody. Um, and also it really helps me out so I don't have to come and clean. I actually have a cold but I'm still here helping you guys clean. So um, take that into consideration. I'm trying to keep the house clean for everyone to enjoy. Um, basically, <clears throat> I'm not here to, to say anything or whatever, but I'm here to help out. So hopefully you guys can keep this all clean and uh, maintain it because at the end of the day, we want to clean up after ourselves so that way people can enjoy uh, living here. Okay, so the carpet got cleaned today and it looks spotless comparing to it was before. All of the steps were grimy and dirty. Um, there were spots everywhere on the floor but it's clean now and um, it's uh, hopefully it stays this way Daniel can you say hi can you say hi uh. hi okay so there's no spot here versus before